Finance Committee meeting of July 12th. Bring this to order. It's 505. I uh, would like to start. Everyone's had an opportunity to read the minutes from June 12th. Do I have a motion? I move we approve the June 12th minutes. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have to do a roll call? No. Everybody's here. Okay. Very good. Done. Number two. To review, discuss, and vote whether to approve requested referrals. Reserve fund transfers before the fiscal year 2023. Okay, we will turn that over to Brian Dominic, and he can. All right, so you have a package with the with the request as a cover sheet. Yep, um, I can just run through those if you want. Okay. Um, Board of Assessors requesting $700. Um, they had higher than anticipated consultant fees. I think that was some additional for some additional work. Right? <laughs> um, uh, vehicle fuels. Um, so that's one thousand six hundred fifty six dollars. Um, that's likely just higher fuel costs. Um, in terms of, I mean, not much has changed in terms of operationally. So I think it's just the higher. Did we put any more money in there this year, or did we? I'd have to go back and look. I think we I kept think. it relatively. Well, I think well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I I take your point to be that if something keeps coming up <clears throat> each year, but it's likely showing us that it probably needs to be raised. And the planning board is one one of the ones that has that was raised this past year. Um, so a lot of this has to do with additional legal advertising costs. So whenever they have a public hearing, typically, and so for this past year, it's been for zoning bylaw changes. Um, I think they had two different ones that they have to hold public hearings for. When there's not an applicant per se to charge the public hearing fees to like we do for special permits or site plan approvals, yep. then the planning board needs to pay for those advertising costs. Um, so in Board of Appeals, so in this case, I think there was a there was something wrong with one of their, they essentially had to advertise twice um, for one of their hearings. Um, I think it had to do with uh, the blue school. Mm -hmm. um, and from what I understand, it was the fault of the, the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, so they couldn't double charge the applicant for the public hearing notice that was not the fault of the applicant. Uh, snow and ice removal, that's Winter Roads account. Um, that's been a, that amount fluctuates based on material costs and frequency of treating the roads. Um, so I was actually surprised when um, we were asked to declare a snow emergency, and because yes. I thought it was a fairly I thought it was a pretty good winter, a fairly calm winter. But it, we didn't have a lot of large storms. But anytime there's yeah. even a small storm, the trucks have to come out. It's really the same cost. So was that a late storm that pushed that over? Right. I think something it came back we, in my mind about a late storm. Yeah, we we had a more storm. active. Late winter than we yeah. did early winter. Right. I remember December and January yeah. thinking, yeah, they're in the good shape. Through. And then part of it is 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 higher material costs too for the saw and for sure the liquid that we use to treat the roads. Yeah. Um. And then the last one, Medicare tax. So this is just based on um the actual amount of salaries and wages that are paid by the town. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a tax as the employer that we need to pay. So this this fluctuates depending on the total amount of salary and wages paid. Um, and one of the things that that we need to keep in the back of our minds is, and this is most typical with the school, is when they have a grant funded position, the grant typically doesn't pay the Medicare tax portion of it. So, um, so that this can fluctuate, you know, based on the positions that are added or the grants that are you know. So those grant funded positions aren't always quote unquote free. Mm -hmm. um, but the Medicare tax is just a budgeted, we usually budgeted at well uh, but well I'm, I actually fear that we actually lowered this yeah. this past uh this past budget I think we lowered it to 10,000 because prior years hadn't been that high but um so we'll be in the same boat next year. We could be okay. 
Okay. So well, Finance Committee has a reserve fund account of twenty thousand right. um, dollars. That's spent. So the money is shifted from the reserve account at the discretion of the Finance Committee. Um, and if all of these were approved, then the amount remaining would be seven thousand three hundred sixteen dollars. With the fiscal year being over, I don't anticipate that there will be any other additional costs that come out of that. Yeah. This will get be punished. Well, after the 15th, we can't do anything about it anyway. Correct. So that's why we could have a meeting this yeah. week. Try to do it earlier in the week just in case we can't get a quorum or something. Then we yeah. have a meeting on Friday, but yeah. Um, yeah. no. <laughs> so just, you know, when you look at all of those requests, are there any questions or further explanation that anyone would like to have regarding them? I have two very quick questions. One is, I don't remember, so sorry, I'm new to the committee, still do. I'm just going to keep like claiming that. Um, I remember doing this last year after the into June. Did we do it last year? Is it kind of an annual thing where, because I can see all these requests are dated. It may have made it it maybe did pass. I think we did. You think you have it? I think we did yeah. some relatively minor ones yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah. I'm only asking because the requests are all dated like today or yesterday. So yeah. So, I'm just trying to get what the normal protocol is. Yeah. So, what happens um, if any of them are apparent early on, we'll, we'll deal with them as they come. But when the town account closes out the fiscal year with the last two warrants, then we pay closer attention to what needs to be. What needs to be addressed or not? Yeah, that makes sense. And the authorized signature is the same on all of them. I can't make out who it is. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's you. Yeah. Sorry. Meaning you submit it. Um, the the, the departments come and talk to the mm -hmm. what their deficit is, and yeah, great, thank you. And then we're we will sign yours on that for yeah the master. So we we'll put that out there. Um, you have to sign everyone. So we can approve these in in mass. I don't think we have to go through the young vote in one vote. Um, okay. We have a motion on the table to transfer the amount of twelve thousand six hundred eighty four dollars from reserve fund to cover all of these three So moved. Motion. Yeah. Second. Second. Okay. All, all right. those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Sign away. We have a bunch of that. I know. Still wrong with one every time. I always, I always go steal one out there. <laughs> Oh, no, that's my boy. I think it's the whole time. No, I, I got one. Thanks. And I'll ask him, and we'll send it around. Uh, I'll scare to publish a revenue report for 23. Also, and up to date one, I can. I would get it quickly. We're not really sure on anything. Um, items not anticipated. We'll wait till the signing. Finish. Maybe someday the, re the marijuana retail shops will open up so we can get some, some more money, but I guess not. Get a job for them. Still not going to open. So, what does it say here? Um, Sorry, so what's this idea of something? The clock has started with the wholesale guys? I don't know. Uh, for what? Well, the um, four products sold. In 
it, what does that mean? Well, from my very rudimentary understanding of the process is that they had a year after sales with which the town would come back and collect taxes. Yeah. On what was sold. I don't know. That's what I that's that's kind of the that's a discussion I had with an individual. With who? Well that's yeah. that, that's, and, not, and that's not that's not public knowledge. An individual. An individual <laughs> in town who has a better grasp of this than I do. So I, I, so I you argue. should you should give me the name of that individual because as far as I as far as I know, we cannot collect taxes on the wholesale we can't. wholesale sale you know, cannabis. I didn't think we could either. I don't know. It's well, just uh, when, when they that. start doing what some of the well, at least one of the growers that I can think of that's growing in Waitley is yeah. going to be retailing it. Someday, someday over here at the sugarloaf shops when they start to retail it then we can collect some money from it. that's my understanding okay what three percent excess tax. Right. what are they doing with the stuff they're currently growing or that they grew last year we'll say um so i believe that they can sell that as a wholesaler. wholesaler. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me dig into this a little more. And I'll try to see if I can create more controversy than what needs to be. Yeah. yeah. So, that's fine. Okay. All right. I mean, so there is the aspect of the of the host community agreement and the the community impact fees, which the law has recently changed on, yeah. making it very undesirable to try to chase that money. Um, okay. because they're, they're impact fees and it's, it's a difference between impact fees and taxes. Yep. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, can I switch gears for one second? We got a discussion on the need for someone to come forward and and take up Tom Smaha's position on the personnel committee. So we had someone who came forward and showed some interest and then we're just following up on that. See if there's been any any thoughts. Yeah, sure. So first, thank you for getting it accurately in the minutes because I expected to read that I was fully <laughs> on board. <laughs> uh, and Tom kindly responded to an email that was solely not public records. It was just about what it entails. Um, and uh, so I guess I'm willing to do it. I'm on the this committee for another year. I don't know if I'll be asked again. I don't know if I'll serve again. But if if you want me, if if no one else wants to be on the personnel committee, I'll do it. You, I say that, Brian. Brian, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I will say, Tom was quite honest, and I truly appreciated it that in his description. Yeah. Well, you don't know if I was honest. Well, I guess I don't know. Yeah. It was not you're gonna, glowing. You're gonna uh, find it's out. all roses. You can't and be honest. But... <laughs> Brutally so. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, thanks. Uh, that's thank great. That's great. Yeah. Brian is, well, he's there all the time anyway. Well, so. yeah. I already relied on yeah. that. Unless I now have a new committee that I can say, I'm new to the committee, so I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you, this was your last <laughs> shot using that. Yeah, yeah. This is it. <laughs> There's, there should be some new people coming on, so you can't. Well, there that. should be. There should be. Any uh, any uh, signs of life from, from our I heard moderator thrown around, but when well, he's gone. Uh, well, so he's out of he's, yeah he's out of the country he's out of the country. Yeah. A moderator has been reelected, yeah, but is unable to be sworn in, yeah, so cannot take any official actions yeah. until, until they, mid September or something. Until they are until he has returned, he's yeah. sworn in. Okay. Is our number seven? Is that how many we do yeah. have? Yeah, five is quorum, seven is the total number. I heard Paul Newland's name thrown around. I have as well. And I heard Lynn's name. I have done. Okay. 
It, it will be interesting. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. Okay. And um, it'll be effective. So, all right. Well, that's good. All right. That, that, and anything else that we wanted to, you had discussed about. I know we don't have calendars here, but starting the year off a little earlier than we have in the past. And um, yeah, noting dates that are more critical than others in terms of those particular meetings. Um, you you have anything to say about that? Or? I don't have anything specifically in mind, but I mean, so it's the personnel committee meetings that lead up to that, that really mm -hmm. to start yep. the earliest, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and then capital planning, there's no reason why that couldn't start earlier as well. We're still the the finance committee is still going to be, you know, moving forward with its hand with its hands tied behind its back because we're not going to get school budgets till we get right. school budgets. Yep, um, that's true. Flash the way that is and has been. Yep. Um, regarding, um, can I make a comment regarding the school budget, please? I informally <clears throat> spoke with. What's her name? Parada. Shelly Parada. Shelly Parada. At the Whitley Elementary School budget hearing, after the hearing, and asked her if it was possible to replicate Franklin Tech's budget format um, in the Frontier Regional format. And she said she would look into it. How can I follow up on that, or how can we follow up on that to get some more detailed information? And more thorough information, not just numbers, but some background information like the Franklin Tech School does, so that we don't go into the eleventh hour again and we're in the same spot as we were a year ago. With I would recommend seeing how you broke the ice. <clears throat> I would recommend you follow up to her with uh, something in black and white. Is she approachable, or yeah. did she seem to be? She was. Receptive to it, very courteous. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I would send her. You look into it. I would, if you can, if you <clears> send <throat> her a copy of the Franklin Tech budget and what it looks like. Well, she has seen it. She okay. knows. Um, she well, knows. I don't know if I have it. But, if, copy, you, but if, if you follow, if you follow the dots, if so that you're talking about the same thing, it's in black and white. Her response to your questions in regards to that black and white is critical mm -hmm. because that way it, it eliminates any um any discrepancies that either you have or she had so now we know if she says yes to this that we can do this then then the next step is how is it going to get done but the first step is can you do it <clears throat> if she says yes then okay Oh, then she says, let's go. Look into it. So, yeah, I get an answer as you go with she proceeds. But the critical thing that you get in black and white. So, can Brian, can you provide me her email address then? And I'll, I don't have Franklin Tech budget electronically. You can get it. You can just go on their website. It's right there. Okay. Um, so, kind of on the same note. And using your format, yes, an anonymous person, yes. An anonymous <coughs> is the best very, one. Very popular Talk to me, yes, about how difficult it was to negotiate the teacher's contract and trying to keep their colas at three or four percent and then the town turns around and gives the town employees seven percent by by whatever they got it was by more by. than the teachers got right yeah. they and, and then in the past if you said you know if the town employees come in 
Yep. They'll use the teachers, teachers against the town. The town, right? And, and right. Mm -hmm. that's a problem. It's, that's not right. <laughs> so you, so you should tell the anonymous source that I probably know who you're talking about, anonymous, <laughs> that town employees are not on a step system. Uh, we, that, so the, the reply is, to that them, report. the reply to the union should be that you all get around five and a half percent each year plus a step. Well, well that's including that's with the step, the step. Okay. plus the step. And town employees don't get the stuff. That's yeah. what they should be telling you. Okay, right. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. yeah, and I don't want to relitigate the thing, but the year before, first year on the committee, I think we were slightly less generous than maybe other towns. And I, I don't remember the exact detail, yeah. which is why I sort of felt like, hey, come on. I felt 5% was a good, reasonable compromise. But, but th I'm not going backwards, but that that is also true that historically, at least in my brief tenure, we haven't always been as generous as other towns. But I will I will say I know of my the the district that my kids go to school and their mediation, their my wife works for a uh, uh, school district. They went through mediation. Everybody's going through mediation because the unions are not giving an inch. Yep. And the towns don't have any money. So no. Mm -hmm. My point is the state's sitting there on billions of dollars in the rain day fund and not doing a damn thing about it, but yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it's talked to Natalie Blake at the town yeah. meet, the day, yeah. annual town meeting. Yeah. And she said basically said, you know, what can we what can what can I do to help you people or help your town? <laughs> it all says get us more money for the schools. <laughs> that's you know, yeah. that's it's not much more than that. Well, that's, pretty, that's pretty plain and simple. Could you say each year, you know, yeah. uh, we're, we're increasing it by, you know, $10 a pupil. Okay. Thanks. Thank like, you. Thanks. We have 100 students. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Thanks, but th that doesn't cover anything. <laughs> there, the, no. it, it costs more to, yeah, to, to bust them and everything. That's, that's another thing that irks me to know when they could pay their fair share. Yeah. Whatever that term means. Fair yeah. share. <laughs> well, well, um, right. okay, so there's that, and there's, um, I, I, I just, as the personnel committee, you know, convenes and starts the discussion process and all that, and I, and I take to heart Brian's point that it's very difficult to, uh, um, to get information from other towns about what they're doing in a certain year because time factor and who you talk to. And I think what you should be done is what did they do? Not what they're going to do, but what have they done? What increases were given the previous year? All around, all around us. And that's that's in black and white, and it should be on their on their website. And it's not something you have to talk to an individual about to find out what their proposed increases. Going, right, going, going to be. So let's take a look at what actually what occurred actually. from the previous year. And that has to be a, a part of the equation process. I'm not saying it's the whole thing, but it has to be part of it. Yeah, in order to keep down this, this escalation, because I still think in some way, either step raises or raises. Are completely different than the cola. And yep. I really don't see that they should get a big step raise if they get a big cola. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't get both. Right. And if, right. If he, they're trying to tie the two of them together. They shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. well, that's but that's the thought. That's the thought that we kind of can, can move forward. Um, when do you see the earliest that we should be um, getting a meeting together in the fall? For the finance committee? Yes. Um, I mean, really, the first task of the personnel committee is hopefully going to be reviewing the the personnel policy revisions that are going to come in from the consultant from this consult. Um, and then I also want to have conversations with the personnel committee about how do we make the process better. For the term for 
right. for determining compensation. Right. So right. I think it would be sometime after that. So yeah. it's, it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. um, because as it is now, I mean, I, you know, I, I reflect back and I think, I think about, you know, the fact that the bylaw that's in position now that puts the personnel committee together, that bylaw came in 1991. Yeah. And the reason I remember that bylaw coming up, and I remember those discussions because previous to that, there's just three select board members, yeah. they get together and they say, okay, you know, focus, focus, this is the number. And then it comes to the finance committee, and it was always a very low number. You know? It was never something that you that you even thought about debating or even increasing because it wasn't opposition to do that. Well, we didn't have hardly any and we members, didn't have, you know, the brown employees at that time. So now we go to 19, so 1991 hits, and from then on, it's been 32 years. Yeah, it's it's been that way. Okay, the last couple of years, it has been um, a little unusual, to say the least, as to what's come, come out of the personnel committee. But what we have now is a process where the personnel committee comes up with a, with a number, and the finance committee says no. Okay. And like it or not, when we do votes, I'm the tiebreaker. I'll go three on this side, three and three and three on that side, and I'll be the tiebreaker. Okay. So now we go from 1990, where we had three select board members coming up with a number, to here we are in 2023, where we have one finance chairman who ends up determining what that number is going to be. That is unfair. That's unfair to the employees. It's unfair to the town. It's unfair to the finance committee. So you need to take that to the personnel. So that is exactly what I was thinking about. Was I was, you know, driving in the rain, coming home, coming home, going through this stuff, pouring rain, and I had nothing else to talk about. So, so <laughs> talk that, to yourself. That came up. But you go from 1990 to 2023, and you've gone from a three member to now, essentially, what can and often does happen is one person ends up making the, the decision because that one person is the tiebreaker. And that just happens to be me this time. Next year, it could be somebody else. But it, that's that's un, unfair. So I'll put that away. Any, any other thoughts or feelings or anything? OK. I make a motion we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Done.